What's up YouTube, Zach with Veteran Construction. Today we're going to be teaching you guys how to caulk in a bathtub uh, using painter's tape, which is kind of different. Some of you may have seen this in other videos on YouTube. That's where I found it and uh, I happened to get some pretty crisp lines and uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. So a couple things, if you're wondering why things look a little unfinished, it's because I'm at the flip house and this is how it looks. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not dressed as you know trashy as normal, it's because it's Christmas and uh, you know I got to find some work on Christmas. I already put up some extra uh, saran or uh, plastic to keep the house warm. It was down to 54 in the morning. I got it back up to 65, so we're running hot. Um, let's see. So for this, painter's tape is going to be the trick. We're going to need caulk. I've got some of this Blanco, uh, Blanco White Lightning. Uh, it's paintable because I don't like the color of this um, shower here. So I made sure it's paintable so we can go back and change the color. You're going to want some water with some Dawn in it. And I've already put some uh, Dawn in here, you just mix that up. And that's going to keep the caulk from sticking to your fingers because we're going to end up rubbing the caulk. Ooh. And then uh, obviously a caulk gun. Okay. And then there's one more thing that's going to help. Um, for one, that's going to be a knife. A knife to cut your tip. Alright. Now, this is unrelated to the video, but if you're doing like trim or something and you want to cut a super small, a super small hole, I actually cut that one kind of big. For, for trim or whatever. This uh, caulk gun, nine times out of ten ain't gonna it ain't gonna be able to stab it because you can't get you can't get in that tip when it's real small. So what you can do is take a piece of wire and use that when you uh, have something real small. You know what I mean? And then that'll work there. Okay. So <laughs> we've got our caulk ready. Next thing we're gonna want to do is tape. Alright, so Let's get to taping on this side. All right, so we're gonna be taping right here, okay? Now we're gonna wanna get up close to that wall, okay? And you wanna have about, about a, uh, maybe an eighth inch, or no, I'm sorry, maybe like a little less than an eighth showing. Just kind of work it down. Okay, we're gonna hold the top in the box. Try to get a little more roundness on this one over here. never actually done a corner like this, so I'm just kind of winging this. Now we gotta do the top. Oh damn, that corner went way better. Look at that. It's close. Almost perfect. So we're pretty much all done here. And the reason it's really important to caulk this is because water will sit here and it'll work its way up behind there and start rotten or molding that drywall and I actually don't have the wall on the back of this and it's it started to do that. Um, so we're definitely going to get this caulked in now so that it don't get anywhere. So we're going to send this now. We can give her a full send. Um, one thing that you want to do is when you're when you're caulking, um, I still try to get a smooth line but it doesn't matter. You can you can over apply when you do this. One of the hardest things about caulking is it's very tough not to over apply and then you try smearing it and it just becomes a mess and you're lucky to get it off and be able to redo it. So that's another thing that's really good about this. But um, whatever direction, you know, you can over apply, whatever direction you smear is the direction you're gonna wanna pull. If I do it this way, smear it all this way and then pull from the other way, it's gonna, it's gonna raise some, like that little edge of the caulk right there where it's at the paint. So we're gonna make sure that, that we just go, go for it and over apply. Don't worry about it.
All right, so now you just get your finger wet inside that Dawn cup, and we just smooth that in. Like a napkin or something to clean this up with. I'll make sure it's all the way in. I've got some, this part's deep and I kind of under applied right there. Who else but me would be caulking bathtubs in their nicest clothes? <laughs> All right, so like I said, we smoothed. Ooh, I better make sure that I smooth everything one more time in that direction, just so we get a better pull off. So I'm gonna smooth everything this way. I'm not gonna go backwards even once. So time to pull it off. Oh. You don't want it to touch nothing else. You've done it. Bottom's gonna be the tricky side. See that little bit in that corner. So we got just that little blob there because the way that the tape sat around that. You can't even tell it's caulked really. Pretty crazy. That's a good call. All right, so that is how I would caulk a bathtub.